this is Dampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Yokai Watch. Um, <laughs> welcome back to the video. I was literally just about to start. I was standing around in the middle of the night when I probably shouldn't have, and I got attacked. As you can, uh, as you can see, uh, there's this big evil yokai uh, that comes after you if you're, um, yeah, caught out at night. So. Yeah, I need to I need to try and get out of this nightmare, I think. So uh, there are like these crates you can get, can't you, as you run around. So let's see if we can grab some of them. You can see on the uh, the mini map that he's there furiously chasing after me though. So let's uh let's not spend too much time, but I think there's one here that I should be able to grab if I'm really quick. And I got a shiny badge! Yay! Look, I can probably if I go around this way. I reckon I might just about be able to to grab this one as well. Oh no, I missed it. I've gone around the wrong way. Okay, tell me, let's just get to the exit. Let's just loop the whole way around here and just get to the exit. I don't want to get caught. No, no, no. He's so close. He's so close. He's so close. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> I was too greedy. That's what I get. Right, this guy's going to destroy me, isn't he? Well, tell you what. Let's go in with some positivity. Let's... Okay, no, there's no point in having any positivity. Look at this. Just one hit damaging us all, isn't he? Let's just, uh, let's just switch around and let him just take everyone out then, shall we? Because there's no way I'm beating this guy. Look at his health. I've not even damaged him yet, and he's just destroying everyone. Yeah. The lesson learned is don't stay out at night. The problem is, is my current mission is to enter the building site at night. So how am I supposed to enter the building site at night without going out at night. That's that's the dilemma we seem to, to be in right now. <laughs> oh, dear, I'm not going well. I've been defeated twice in a row and I dropped all my items that I got. So we're sleeping now. The problem is, are we going to wake up in the morning now? Because I, I don't want to wake up in the morning because we need to go to the building site at night. So yeah, waking up in the morning isn't going to be very useful. I'm just going to have to like wait around all day. Oh, well, let's not let, uh, let it get us down because we still have things to do. So uh, let me just give you a quick recap. Uh, from the other uh, the last episode so uh, we're trying to upgrade our yokai watch um, oh okay it's it's still nighttime anyway that's convenient <laughs> yeah we're trying to to upgrade our um our yokai watch uh, so it's um uh so it's rank c so it's like c grade i guess so um that's kind of the the current goal uh, to do that i had to go and battle three yokai and defeat them uh, i did that successfully in the the, the last episode uh, so now i can go back and upgrade my my watch and then we need to go into the uh, the the building site uh, yeah at night times so it looks like it is still night time so we're not gonna have to be hanging around uh, all day uh, so yeah let's just go and uh, make our way down to i think it's called timers and more which i believe is uh, is right down here so um let me just go and zoom in on the the map a little bit and yep uh, here it is right so this is where I was. This is where I was standing a second ago <laughs> before I was attacked by that horrible evil yokai. But there we go. We should be uh, ready to, to carry on the, the mission. Looks like you've defeated all the yokai. You passed the test, kid. Let me go ahead and upgrade that yokai watch of yours. Awesome. Sounds great. Okay. A little bit of this. A little bit goes there like that. And there. Now you'll be able to see yokai that are one rank higher. Your yokai watch is now rank C. Awesome. Now we can befriend more powerful yokai. Just be careful out there. The higher rank the yokai are, the more dangerous they are too. Yay! There we go. I got uh, to, to rank uh, rank C now. This is good. Because I, I don't know what the top rank is. There's a good chance it's A. And if it is, then we've only got, you know, B and A to go. Uh, sometimes they have like S rank as like the, the top rank. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe that will happen at all. <laughs> Bonus scene. Can't see that coming. Is that it? <laughs> okay. A little bonus scene of Yokai getting hit by a car. <laughs> if you haven't watched the um the TV show, but by the way, definitely go and watch it. I really do uh, strongly uh, recommend um, uh, watching it. It's really funny. It's an absolutely hilarious show. So at the moment. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for for more to be available for me to to watch. Like I know it's on um I know it's on Netflix in the US, but it's not over here. I think it's on like um Disney XD as well, um which I don't have either. So uh, we've kind of just been trying to watch it online where we can, but we've run out of English episodes. So uh, some of the episodes are, are uh, have got subtitles or English dubbed, uh, but a lot of them are Japanese as well. And uh, seeing as I can't speak Japanese, watching them isn't very useful. So I'm uh, currently waiting for for more episodes to. to come out but if you haven't started watching it uh yeah i definitely recommend uh, checking it out especially if you enjoyed this game because it's very very similar all right then uh, we've made our, our way in 
I've been working here for a month, and man, I hear some weird noises. It's pretty creepy, actually. Hmm. Oh, I know who this is! Wow! <laughs> hey there, what's wrong? I don't think this yokai is local. Why are you crying? What's your name? I'm Kamasan. I left my shrine and country and wound up here. I was looking for a place to live, so I went to see Kaibu. He's in charge of this place, and he told me to meet him here, but there's a bunch of yokai in there, and I don't know where he is. Because of... It's scary! The same Kubai that told us to come here. Interesting. I wonder if he's already inside the building here. Huh? Yep. Yeah, he said he'd be inside. All right, Stampy, let's go. Okay. Wait, are you going inside? Could you take me with you? I want to show Kubai that I'm not a scaredy cat. Well, I certainly wouldn't say no. What do you think, Stampy? Um, w why not? It won't be scary if we're all there together. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I won't let you down. Honest. Yay! I love this yokai as well. So, the story of this yokai in the, the TV show anyway. So, it's basically from the uh, the country, uh, Komasan, uh, and uh, it's moved to the... Um, <laughs> to the, the the city and uh, it's kind of a little bit out of place in the the city and kind of is scared by everything and it's catchphrases I think you might have just heard there is oh my swirls <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, another one of the the more popular yokai <laughs> Here we go Don't worry little one. I'll track down that Kobai together. Yeah, let's do it All right, let's go. So is it like is it part of my team? Like can I like it's actually with me now? I don't have it with me uh, I, I, I need like um, an iPo to, to go and switch it around, but I think it's going to be another um, yeah yokai I can use, which is something I'm looking forward to. And here we go. Uh, I found. <laughs> speaking of uh, iPos, <laughs> here's one right here. So let's save because I haven't saved in quite a long time. So let's just go and get that done now, just in case. And look at that. I've been playing for eight hours now. That's uh, yeah quite a long time I've been playing this game. Doesn't feel like it to, to be honest though. Time has gone pretty quickly. I uh, see. So yeah, let's go and uh, look uh, at what it's like. So. Hmm, its strength isn't very high, which is really what I was looking for. Uh, defense 26. It doesn't look amazing, to be honest. Rank D, so it's not even a very high rank. But you know what? I want to use it, so I'm going to use it. So it's a it's a charming one. So let's um, let's switch it with Kappa, because Kappa's charming as well. Kappa does seem to generally be a little bit better, but yeah, let's uh, let's switch around. It is a lower level than a lot of the others, so maybe once it's leveled up, it'll be better. Uh, so there we go. We've got the Komasan uh, with us now uh, as well. So yeah, we can go and, uh, and uh, try them out. And as soon as they're kind of with us in the, the story for now, I think it's kind of nice to, uh, yeah, nice to, to have them with me. So uh, yeah, let's go and uh, wander around and try and find this uh, this yokai then if we can. Oh, those guys are tough. Those guys have really high defense. Let's just try and uh, uh, back away from uh, from them. And uh, now we've got the um the the sea watch i reckon that a lot of the the yokai are going to be more tough now so i want to be really careful about this oh what was that okay something's fudding around whoa did you guys feel that oh my swirls that was scary everyone okay <laughs> no <laughs> Komasan, don't be a scaredy cat. That's why Kobe likes testing you, you know. Show him he's wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How can you not fall in love with him? It's all that there's only like cat ones, because Komasan's kind of like a cat one, and so is like Jabanyan. It seems like a lot of the most popular ones are, are cat ones. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm totally fine with that. So yeah, let's uh, let's go and use Komasan out, and uh, let's see what their uh, what their ultimate move is. So let's go and uh, and uh, trace this, and uh, let's see if it deals any damage or or what it does. Uh, let's see if I can actually trace over this line. There we go. <laughs> Got there in the end, didn't I? So yeah, let's go and see what it is. So it's all charged up. Uh, let's see what Komasan does. It's the the spirit dance. And uh, what's it do? Oh, okay, it just deals loads of damage. 59 damage. That wasn't too shabby, to, to be fair. Uh, I don't think I need to, to really use Paws of Fury. They seem to be uh, pretty destroyed. So uh, even though we have moved to, to level 3, I seem to be handling uh, things pretty well. And Komasan's doing pretty good, actually. I think that was like 35 damage. Maybe I maybe I underrated this little guy. It's my lowest, like, ranked player as well. It's like the lowest level. So yeah, maybe, maybe Komasan might be a little bit better than I gave it credit for. And what's... What's here? Like, it looks like there's a bit of a gap. Oh, i got to crawl under it. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, under this way. It seems to be a pretty enormous place. This might actually- Oh, no! 
I, f I fell off the beam. It's really dark, to be fair. Uh, but I think it enabled me to, to find this uh, uh, kind of like this hidden room as well. So uh, let's go and... Uh, oh, actually, there was a chest there. Let's not go up yet. Uh, let's go and try and open this chest. And it looks like we're getting ourselves uh, into uh, another uh, battle. And oh, I think that Komasan does flame attacks. And I just got a flame ring. So maybe... um. Giving that to to Komasan, uh, might be a, a pretty uh, a pretty good idea. I'm pretty sure it, it used fire as a, an attack. Let me kind of uh, watch it and make sure, because uh, if it does, giving it the the firing uh, might be a, a really good way to to kind of help it out. Uh, I think um, I think Jabanyan does fire attacks as well, actually, if I if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, but Jabanyan kind of has a um. Uh, a different thing uh, equipped. You know, if you don't know, you can basically give them items which kind of boost their, their stats and things. Uh, so yeah, I think giving the uh, the fire ring to, um, uh, yeah, to Kamasan in a, a bit would be a, a jolly good idea. All right then, let's go and uh, climb back up here. There's a weird, like, thing on the map here. Is this like a, a rope? This is a, a weird place. This seems to be like the, the biggest dungeon that I've entered so far in this uh, this game. I've got, oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is leading, this is the other side of that beam that I crossed. Okay, let's go and have a little look around this way then. This area here seems to be blocked off. I can go this way, but there's a, um, a yokai, but there is another chest there. Seems to be lots of good loot around this area. And there's a katanana <laughs> of, uh, of track down. I'd love to, to start capturing some of these guys. I mean, what I could do, I could give them... Um, I could give them a snack. Let's go and give them a, a sandwich, and uh, let's see if that makes them uh, more likely uh, to, to join me, because uh, that would be really handy. Let's go and uh, uh, use the, uh, the the loving slap if I can actually hit these things. <laughs> I thought I'd hit enough of them, so I stopped hitting them, but I guess I had to, to go and carry on. So, yeah, let's go and uh, use that and deal some good damage. Uh, let's just go and try and take out these guys first, because uh, I know that guy in the far right has really good uh, defense. And yeah, um, uh, Komasan does use fire attacks, so uh, let's go and uh, give the, the fire ring to, to Komasan uh, after this um uh, after this battle. Well, let's see what it does first, I guess, would be a good idea. And uh, I can go and use the uh, the Sultimate. It was called like Spirit Dance, I believe it was called. So let's go and uh, pop them and then go and use that. And that should hopefully uh, be enough to, to finish off these uh, these people. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with Komasan, to, to be fair, uh, seen as it was uh, such a low level. Oh no, actually, this guy's almost taken out. Uh, so let's go and try and finish them off. Uh, let's go and switch uh, Jabanyan round and uh, we can go and uh, purify them. And the good thing about purifying is it gives them experience as well. So even if you don't necessarily need to do it to win the battle, uh, doing it anyway is a good idea, just because you get experience, you know, you're getting uh, everyone's levels up higher at the, the same time, so uh, that's definitely a, a worthwhile thing to, to do. And uh, yeah, Chummer uh, leveled up uh, as well. All right then, so let's go and uh, bring up the, the menu. Let's open this first, and then let's go and uh, give the um, the uh, the firing. Oh, I've got an illusion ring. Finding lots of rings around here. <laughs> right, let's look at my inventory. i got so much stuff now, and I don't even know what half of it does. <laughs> I'm gradually trying to work it out. So here's the, the equipment. Uh, so firing boosts firepower, lowers fire defense. I think that's a, a worthy trade-off because, you know, the chances of, um, you know, getting another fire attack is much slimmer than, you know, you doing the attack because, you know, you always do fire attack. So I think that's a, a worthwhile trade-off. Where am I supposed to go then? Let's go... Let's go back across this way. Oh, I nearly fell down then. It looks like I might need to, to go down this rope. It looks like I might have had to have gone this way anyway. Hopefully you can see this okay, by the way, because it's really dark. Like, I'm playing this looking off my, um of my, uh, like, my computer screen. Like, I'm not actually looking at the, the 3DS, and it looks kind of dark, so, uh, hopefully you can, um, all see it, uh, okay. Let me kind of, let me see if I can turn the brightness up a little bit. So there we go, I've just put the, uh, <laughs> the brightness up on the screen. You can probably all, uh, see that. Uh, so hopefully you can, uh, see everything a little bit better now. All right, then, let's go and use the, um, the defense shield, or whatever this is called. Uh, so that means that Chum is going to be taking all of the, uh, the, the damage. The shark skin shield. And, oh, look, oh, look, there's a flying thing. Oh, let's get this. It's a gold one. That's got to be some good. I've got loads. Is that like a bunch of money? I think I was just able to get a bunch of money from that. That's not too bad. And it looks like uh, pretty much everyone's ultimates uh, are ready. So let's just go and spam all of these out and uh, do uh, as much damage uh, uh, as I can. I don't think I'm going to worry about capturing too many of these. Like, I just don't want to waste all my food giving it to them because uh, food's pretty expensive in this game. So I kind of want to save as much as I can. What was that? Oh, I'm speeding it up. <laughs> they were going like crazy. I forgot that I had the, the game sped up. So they wanted me to, to pop the bubbles really fast, which, yeah, was definitely not going to... to to happen. So let's go and use this move, and then let's switch round to, to these guys, uh, which should be uh, enough to, to finish off this last person. Uh, yeah, they've pretty much got no health left. So there we go! I'm doing pretty successful here. I'm pretty happy with how well I'm uh, defeating everything. Like, the thing is, because I'm kind of a higher level than most of the things I'm battling, like, it's not like I'm leveling up a bunch. 
you know, because I'm already a higher level than a, a lot of the, the things I'm facing, like, I'm just not leveling up much, like, compared to if, as if they were stronger than me, which is fine. You know, I'm still leveling up a, a little bit, but it's not making the, the biggest difference in the, the world. Anyway, I reckon I probably need to, to keep heading up in this area. Hmm, that escalator's box up there. Oh, look, I'm on the other side from where I was earlier. And it uh, looks like I need to go up this way. Oh, there is actually an arrow saying here. Uh, let me try. Oh, no, 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 Let me go up the rope. I'm on the rope, but it's not letting me go up the rope for some reason. I can go down this rope here, but it looked like it was telling me to, to go the, the other way. I don't know if I've fallen the whole way down now. I did not mean for, for that to, to happen. Right, looks like I'm only back here, though. So I can go and loop back around. And there was another chest that I could have got there as well. All right, then, let's go and uh, use the, uh, the, the spirit dance straight away and uh, do a, a whole load uh, of damage. I might as well just kind of leave it uh, sped up for now. Seeing as these guys are pretty easy, like I don't need to, I don't really need to, to worry too much uh, about what I need to, to do in these battles. I kind of just need to, to wait for them to, to pass, to, to be honest. So uh, what I think I might do, is I'm actually going to cut ahead in the uh, the video until I've made my way a little bit higher up the um, the, the tower. So I really want to, to track down this uh, yoke, I think it's called Kubi or something, uh, in this episode. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut ahead a little bit until I've made my little bit uh, made it a little bit way uh, uh, higher up the, uh, the construction site. So yeah, I'll be back uh, in just one moment. Okay, I think I might have just arrived. I pretty much just went up that rope, to be, to be honest. <laughs> hey, does anyone else get the feeling that somebody's watching us? Whoa, is that a yokai? I mean, it's got to be a yokai, but that's a big yokai. No, I don't feel anything. What about you, Whisper? Of course not. No one else is here. But, I don't know, it's just such a weird feeling. I'm sorry. Okay, looks like we're, we're not quite there there yet. I make a progress. So what was going wrong? So, I jumped on the rope, okay, and I wanted to climb up the rope, okay? And so I assumed I would have to, to push up on the analog stick, but it turns out I had to push to the right to the analog stick just because I approached the 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 like the rope from the the left if that makes sense so yeah the reason i couldn't climb up the rope was because i was pushing in the wrong direction so yeah if you are playing this and you are getting stuck yourself um yeah just make sure you push like in the the direction you were facing when you you go to climb the ropes it's a little bit weird because you, you know you just assume if you want to climb up you press up so <laughs> that was the the reason i was struggling so much to, to climb the rope but here we go i think now we have arrived there we go Oh, we found him! Oh no, oh no! There it is, it's Kobe! Well, 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 if it isn't weak, whittle, scaredy cat, Commissan. I'm surprised you made it up here. I must be hard going on all those fights while holding each other. So, you want something from me, is that right? We want to know why you're trying to scare people over at Flower Road. Why would you put a curse on a place like that? So rude. See, this is why I can't ever have children. Accusing me when you understand nothing. It's quite comical, actually. Especially when I led you right to the real culprit. Uh-oh, I think this is the big thing that was watching us through the window. You want to protect Springdale, right? Well, go for it, kid. This isn't gonna end well. <laughs> Hopefully I'm tough enough. Seeing as the other yokai weren't too strong, Hopefully I can handle this. Just where do you think you're going? I bid you farewell, little ones. Well, that was absolutely terrifying. He's literally called Massive Face. <laughs> right, let's try and take out this guy as fast as we can. Do I target like the eyes, maybe? And I don't know where I'm supposed to target. Normally with these boss guys, you like need to target a very specific place. And oh no, Commissan got hurt. That is not very good. Hopefully uh, Tattletail's going to, to heal him up pretty quickly. Uh, but once I've kind of used everyone's um, assault emit, I'm gonna switch around to, to Chummer and allow Chummer to kind of take most of the, the damage and have Tattletail heal him up. 
Uh, and then that will be getting uh, Jibanyans and, uh, and Commissant, um, their Sultimates kind of ready for the, the next go. And oh, oh, I missed that thing. Right, yeah, let's go and switch around. And there we go. This is uh, ready already. So let's go and use Chummy's Sultimate, the uh, the shark skin um, armor. And oh, look, it looks like attacking the eyes was the, the best thing to do. And oh no, Tattletail's getting hurt. I really don't want Tattletail to get taken out because she's the, the person that keeps everyone healed up. So please heal her quick. There we go. Tattletail's doing okay. And uh, now let's go and uh, target the, the other eye if we can. Uh, which is good. Uh, we also have a uh, have loving slap uh, ready uh, as well. So let's go and try and do that. And uh, hopefully, uh, massive face. <laughs> I can't believe he's called massive face. Uh, isn't going to do too much damage uh, against Chumba. And oh no, oh no, I need to switch away. I need to switch away. He's inspirited, right? I need to go and switch away and uh, go and uh, try and uh, bring him back up to speed. And you know what? I might as well go and use um, Cheek Squeak and uh, Dismerelda's uh, Sultimates uh, as well. So let's go and uh, uh, go and use the um, the smoke thing, whatever it's called. Uh, let's just go and try and use this because a lot of these moves like lower the, the enemy player's stats. And so these are really kind of good things to do kind of very early on in the uh, the battle. And then I can kind of switch away from these characters and kind of use some of the, the more aggressive, like offensive characters. You know, once I've kind of used these people's sultimates, you know, there's no reason to, to wait for these. Um... So yeah, let's go and switch around now to... Uh, let's go and get Chummer back out, shall we? Uh, let's go and uh, purify Dismer Merelda, uh, just in case we, we need to use her again a little bit later on. Uh, let's go and pop all of these. And I'm doing okay. You can see that there's the um, the the damage over on the, uh, the left side of the screen. And I'm doing pretty good, actually. Uh, so far, so good. I haven't taken too much damage. I had that one scare with, uh, with Tattletail, uh, but I was able to, to get her healed up uh, again uh, pretty uh, quickly. Uh, I think the, the strategy of going uh, for his eyes uh, is really helping me out. I think that's working uh, really good. And then using these like these special moves is like really kind of targeting where I need to, to target. So there we go. That's uh, uh, both eyes hurt again. Uh, here's a, a good time for me to, to get some nice free damage. Seen as his, <laughs> his eyes are literally shut right now. So he, he's probably just going to keep missing all of his attacks. Maybe it doesn't do more damage, but maybe it just puts his accuracy down. You would expect that it would, seeing as, you know, his eyes are literally closed. You would expect it to, uh, <laughs> uh, to him to, to miss a little bit more. Yeah, look at that. He's just missing absolutely everything. Do I just target, like, let's just target his nose or something now, I guess. <laughs> seeing as I might as well target, uh, uh, target something. And then when he opens his eyes, we can go and target uh, them again. And then also once he opens his eyes, that's when I'm going to uh, switch around to, to have Chummer out again. Uh, so he can hopefully be uh, taking uh, most of the, uh, the the damage again. I think I'm kind of working out some some pretty good strategies in this game now. I felt like a little bit lost in some of the, the earlier episodes just because it was all so new to me. But I feel like I'm starting to, to get a handle on things a little bit. So let's go and target the, the eye again. Uh, looks like Chummer's Sultimate isn't ready yet, which is a bit of a shame. I like, sort of love to have used that now so he takes most of the, the damage. Uh, but I can use a uh, love slap and um, a pause of fury. And oh no, he just inspirited Tattletail. That's really not good news because Tattletail uh, is, of course, the, the yokai that keeps everyone nicely healed up. Uh, so let's go and uh, switch her around now. Uh, luckily, one of his eyes is closed. So hopefully his damage won't, uh, damage won't be too good. And there we go. His, now both of his eyes are, are shut. Uh, so let's go and switch around to, to maybe these three uh, to go and try and deal some damage. I don't need to, to worry about having really defensive characters out now because... Well, I was going to say he won't be doing much damage, but if he does that, then maybe he will do a lot of damage. <laughs> Let's go and just use the uh, the loving slap. And it looks like um, uh, the, the shark skin uh, shield is uh, almost ready to, to use uh, as well. Uh, so the second that's ready uh, should hopefully kind of tie up with when he opens the, the eyes. And then that will uh, allow me to, to do some, uh, yeah, some, uh, some pretty decent damage uh, against him. Uh, Tattletail's doing her job and uh, keeping everyone nicely healed up. This should miss and it definitely uh, did. Uh, yeah, this uh, strategy is definitely working really well. Uh, as you can see, Chum is kind of healing himself, even though he's not really damaged much anyway. And uh, there we go. The eyes are open. Let's go and uh, target it. And uh, this should almost be perfect timing. You can see that um, Chummer's ultimate is so almost ready. Uh, I'll be able to use it in just one second. It seems to charge really slowly. I don't know whether different ultimate moves charge at different speeds. Like, I know there's, like, different items you can use to, to kind of, you know, to, to, to charge them you know, quicker. Uh, but I don't know whether they kind of just in general do charge at different speeds. Uh, that's uh, another eye taken down. It happens pretty quick, almost like just one attack to the eyes is enough to, to make him uh, uh, shut them. And right, let's go and use Pause of Fury, and then let's switch uh, around to, to get uh, Komasan back out. And uh, let's go and uh, target this eye, and we've pretty much uh, been able to, to finish taking this guy out. A uh, rather successful battle. When I saw 
this massive face show up. I will be honest, I was a little bit scared. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we seem to to be dealing with uh, with things uh, relatively okay. And let's just kind of just target. Can we target like his forehead now? It looks like maybe that's kind of the only other place to. Oh, it is. That's doing extra damage. I think I'm supposed to be targeting his forehead this whole time. Oh, I've not been doing that. Uh, let's switch around and allow Dismerelda uh, to, to use her ultimate. And uh, he's pretty much taken out now anyway. So to be honest, I could probably just put the uh, the 3DS down and end up winning anyway. But there we go. We have defeated Massive Face. Congratulations us. <laughs> That's what you get for, for cursing everyone over at Flower Road. And uh, we should hopefully uh, get a bunch of uh, experience for this. I really want to level up Commissan. I like Commissan. Uh, I didn't. I didn't think that he was going to be that amazing when uh, I first looked at his stats. But he seems to be. He seems to be holding his own uh, against these yokai. And having uh, another one in the the charming tribe next to Jibanyan uh, is definitely a, a very good idea. But there we go. There's a massive face taken down. Ha 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 ha! Serves you right. That's what you get for messing around in my territory. Luring you here was the right idea. After all, I'm so smart. I thought Massive Face had you there for a second, but... <laughs> Cowboy just completely took advantage of us. Huh? How so? Can someone explain to me what's going on? He led us here just so we could defeat the giant yokai for him. Nothing escapes you, oh pasty face floaty one. <gasps> My face isn't pasty. I like to think of myself as Ivy Complicate, uh, Complect? The fire in Flower Road wasn't actually my work, but that of another yokai. This may come as a surprise to you, but I love living here. And I will continue my guardian duties here until you learn the truth. I will be cheering you on from afar. So, was that good or bad? I don't know anymore. Well, I for one am completely unsatisfied, but at least we're safe. But what do you think Kubai meant by learn from the truth? I guess that's our homework from here on, eh? Um, I wanted to thank you for taking me along. Can we be friends? We're already friends, Commissan. We've already been through the good and bad together after all. You should have showed Kubai that you're not a scaredy cat. But totally anyway. Yeah, Kubai shouldn't... Blah, shouldn't give you trouble anymore now. Well, thank you so much, Stampy. Um, I'm so happy! <laughs> you can stop crying now. Oh, my swirls! <laughs> to be continued. Ba 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 bum. <laughs> ah, that was a, that was awesome. That was a pretty successful episode. We were able to take out Massive Face, and uh, we've pretty much uh, worked out the uh, the mystery uh, of the the curse uh, of Flower Road. But sadly, uh, that is the the end of uh, this episode here. Uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to be finding out what's happening next uh, in the uh, the story in the the next episode, and there'll be of course a link to that down in the uh, the description down below. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!